Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Premier and the first Liberal Minister for Climate Change. As the new Minister, Premier, will you be guided by the science? According to the peer-reviewed 2013 Tasmanian <coughs> Forest Carbon Study, this island's forests are expected to sequester around three to four million tonnes of carbon every year for the next 30 years. This includes the 356,000 hectares of healthy old forests set aside for protection in 2013. Premier, what you've called a wood bank, the science tells us is a vast carbon bank of global significance. This is the science. Do you accept it? And Premier, if you want to be taken seriously on climate, do you acknowledge that business and usual, as usual in our forests is not an option? Will you make a clear, unequivocal statement now that your government will not only not log the TFA reserve forests, but you'll commit to ensuring these forests are permanently protected for their natural, cultural and carbon values? Thank you. The Honourable the Premier. Yeah. Well, Madam Speaker, I thank uh, the member for Clark for that question. And it's, again, uh, very clear that what the member for Clark wants to do is to use what is a global problem, a global challenge, as a reason to shut down our forestry industry. That's, Sorry, that is, that is, that is implicit in that question. That is, that is implicit in that question. Let me just provide uh, an explanation. Ms O'Connor. Let me explain for the member, who is quite happy to remain blind to this, that we have a very good story here in Tasmania on climate change. Yeah, we, have, we, have an extraordinary, we have an extraordinary story on climate change here in Tasmania, um, Madam Speaker. Our net emissions profile, yeah. which we were the first jurisdiction to have zero net emissions in 2016. Now, that's something you should be proud of. Yeah, because it's it's something forests. that you should be proud of. Right now, today, right now, today, we are at 95% below 1990 levels, Madam Speaker. 95 per cent below. Now, Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker... Order, please, through the chair. Madam Speaker, in terms of our state, um, the member is right. In fact, we have around half of our state that is locked up. And that does, and that does provide a carbon sink, <laughs> Madam Speaker, and a net offset. But we also have in Tasmania uh, some of the world's best renewable energy assets as well. We also have some of the world's best renewable energy assets as well, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, and what the member wants to use climate change for, I'm, I'm certain of this in my mind, is as a reason to shut down industry and to, to cost jobs. That is what the member for Clark standing wants to do. Speaker, have a standing order, order, a point of order. I draw, I ask you to draw the alleged Minister for Climate Change's uh. attention <laughs> to the question, and the question was relating to the 356,000 hectares. Of yes. He's trying to avoid dealing with that question because he doesn't well, want to confess what a lot of As you know, we have a, sta a standing practice here, a long standing one, that um, the ministers are permitted to answer the questions as they see fit, but I do ask the minister to, or the premier rather, to uh, continue with his speech. Thank you. Well, Madam Speaker, thank you. Um, look, and as the member well knows, um, that the government has no plans in place for. Uh, those future potential production forests. Protect them. Um, Madam Speaker, the member also knows uh, that legislation, that it needs to come back to this House, Madam Speaker, before any decision would be made in terms of those forests. But I do want to put very clearly on the record uh, that one of the best ways that we can store carbon is to have well-managed forests. Yeah. Is to have well-managed forests, Madam Speaker. And, no, it's it a, a and it is a statement of fact that, Madam Speaker, in carbon. Tasmania, for every tree that we cut down, we plant more. Yes. We plant more, Madam Speaker. Years. Madam Speaker. Miss uh, O'Connor, I'm very respectful this is your passion, but I do ask you to be respectful of the Premier. Madam Speaker, well-managed forests provide an ongoing carbon sink, Madam Speaker. The very dispatch box that I'm standing at today, Madam Speaker, is timber that has been taken from a forest and will store carbon forever, Madam Speaker. And will store carbon forever, Madam Speaker. So I've come back again to my point on climate change. You know, I just wish that you could be a little more positive about the very good story that we have here in Tasmania in terms of climate change, Madam Speaker. 
the first jurisdiction in this country Tell the truth. to reach zero net emissions. Forests. At the moment, Madam Speaker, 95 per cent below 1990 levels. No other jurisdiction in this country will ever get close to us. We have a government, Madam Speaker, that is going to work hard on improving our carbon footprint as well, Madam Speaker, because we intend to drive further investment into renewable energy, Madam Are Speaker, to, en to ensure, Madam Speaker, that we can become the renewable energy powerhouse of this country, Madam Speaker. A beacon to the world, Madam Speaker, of what is possible. And I would simply would ask that the no, member for Clark, the that the member for Clark be a little more positive yes, about what is a very good story here in Tasmania about climate change.